dear students in this lecture we are going to view the concept called reflection factor and reflection loss consider a transmission line like this at the source end we have source voltage the source impedance is mentioned as zs the receiving end we have load impedance and z not is the characteristic impedance so this is a normal transmission line now in a normal transmission line like this whenever the condition zl is not equal to z not persist in a transmission line in that case there will be reflection taking place from the load towards the source in the normal scenario signals will be transmitted only from the source towards the load but whenever the load impedance is not equal to the characteristic impedance in that case a part of the transmitted signal will be reflected back from the load towards the source in an ideal transmission line this reflection will be absent it should not take place reflection should be nil right but practically due to this impedance mismatch between the load and the uh, characteristic impedance reflection will be happening in a transmission line and this reflection will reduce the power that is being transmitted from the source to the load that is it does not allow maximum power to be transmitted from the source to the load a part of power which is being transmitted from the source towards the load will be transmitted again back to the source itself so this results in power loss and this waveform it explains the incident and the reflected wave incident wave is the wave that is traveling from the source towards the receiving end whenever the condition that is the two impedances zl and z not or not equal then there will be reflection taking place from the receiving end and you will get a reflected wave which is propagating from the load towards the source as we know this reflection is happening due to the impedance mismatch that is whenever the load impedance is not equal to the characteristic impedance we are having this impedance matching and if we want to reduce this reflection and if we want to reduce uh, or if we want to uh, deliver maximum power from the source to the load then these impedances has to be matched and for performing this impedance matching we have to insert an ideal transformer between the load and the source impedances now let us see what is reflection coefficient this reflection coefficient is the ratio of reflected voltage wave to the incident voltage wave at the load so it is defined as reflected wave at load to the incident wave at load usually it will be represented as k and it is given as zr minus z0 divided by zr plus z0 zr is the load impedance z0 is the characteristic impedance so this reflection coefficient it helps us to measure the amount of reflection that is taking place between the load and the source okay now let us see this reflection coefficient of open and short circuited lines let us take three cases case 1 is when zr is equal to z0 that is when the source and the load impedances are equal when these two are equal in that case k will be equal to 0 so when zr and z0 are becomes equal then k will become equal to 0 when when these two impedances are equal we can for sure say that there won't be any reflection taking place between the source and the load next case 2 is when zr is equal to 0 whenever zr becomes 0 as per this formula when zr becomes 0 k will be 0 minus z0 divided by 0 plus z0 which is equal to minus 1 and if i represent the same using polar form with magnitude and phase it becomes 1 and 180 degree now in this case 
when z r is zero that is the other end other end at the other end when z r becomes zero it the circuit is short right so from the short circuited end when z r becomes equal to zero here if you observe the reflected wave the current will be maximum and the voltage will be minimum at the short circuited end so at the short circuited end current will be maximum and voltage will be minimum the next case is when z r becomes equal to infinity in this case when z r is open circuited that is when the load end is open if it is open then the value of k will be k is z r minus z not divided by z r plus z not when i substitute z r equal to infinity directly here k will be infinity but practically it will not exist so we are taking z r outside both in the numerator and the denominator we will get 1 minus z not by z r divided by 1 plus z not by z r in this case when z r becomes infinity this becomes zero the second term in both numerator and denominator will be zero so we are going to get one so in polar form it becomes one angle zero and in this case that is from the open end when z r becomes infinity here in this case the voltage will be maximum and current will be minimum 